Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this little video, this is a short little Q&A video, but before the video goes on, I do just want to say I'm at around 97,000 Twitter followers and that is so close to 100,000 followers. I would absolutely love it if you guys could, uh, you know, if you don't have a Twitter account, then uh, make a Twitter account, uh, go on over, go on Twitter. Twitter is literally the land of gods, it's where all the fun stuff happens on Twitter and uh, go ahead and follow me, my link will be in the description and obviously if you already have a Twitter and maybe you you just didn't realize I, I had one or you are not following me or whatever go ahead and follow me on Twitter I am so close to a hundred thousand and I want to do something epic for a hundred thousand Twitter followers so be sure to uh, go ahead and follow me on Twitter and of course guys if you want any ultimate team coins check out utcointraders.com all those links will be down in the description I hope you all have a cracking day and enjoy the rest of this Q&A have a great day Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a live commentary that I decided I'm going to do. So I'm going to be talking throughout this entire game. I'm not going to cut it up. I'm not going to edit any of it. I'm just going to uh, straight up upload it. So it could be a little bit of a long game. This is in fact a cup final. So I might get absolutely smashed or I might actually end up doing okay. So it'll be interesting to see how I do. But I asked uh, you guys to ask me some questions on Twitter. I asked for, um, you know, any, just any sort of questions. A bit of a QA and a I thought I'd make this into. So. So hopefully we can uh, we can answer some questions and play FIFA, which would just be an epic combination. It's going to be a tough one though, because I always suck at multitasking. You know they always say men can uh, can't multitask and all that shenanigans, but that's just bull crap because I'm going to prove it wrong here. But this guy's got a 3-4-3 squad and uh, a pretty nice one, I might add. You know, uh, not a lot of chemistry though, but he's obviously made it to the Gold Cup final for a reason. I'm just looking at some of those players and already crying, but. Let's start here. So, um, uh, Morgan here asks, what's my favorite film of 2013? To be honest with you, 2013, uh, well, actually, I don't know. Recently, I've been to the cinema a lot, and the movies have just been fucking terrible. They have been so bad. Um, I went to watch, what is it, Purge? Guys, don't go and watch that film. It is absolutely horrible. I really didn't enjoy watching that film at all. So, yeah, don't go and watch The Purge. Um, there's just been a few movies where, you know, I thought I watched the uh, latest Superman or Man of Steel. I thought that was an okay film. I know some people will probably be like, it was amazing, but I thought it was, you know, just distinctly average. I didn't really um, enjoy it that much, but um, yeah, there really hasn't been a film. I actually went to see Now You See Me, which has Morgan Freeman in it, and I thought that was actually a pretty good film. I enjoyed it, but again, I didn't think it was amazing. You know, I didn't think it was a uh, an amazing film by any means. So I don't know. I haven't been super impressed by a film uh, recently, but then again, 2013 has been going on for a little while now, so um, I've probably missed a really epic one out. Um, and he gets an early chance there, but not good enough. So um, George here has any advice for uh, what is it? Any advice for you? YouTuber just starting up so um, pretty much don't get involved in any drama upload relatively consistently and enjoy what you do if you don't enjoy doing it don't bother doing it that's literally the the sole reason if you guys are also another thing is make sure you have some sort of self-respect um, when it comes to the whole YouTube shenanigans don't go around posting your videos on um, on other people's channels comments and things that literally does nothing for you and it will come back to bite you in the ass um this game is extremely laggy and it's quite painful to go through but i'm sure we can uh, we can battle on through so i apologize if the gameplay is a little bit laggy because it is horrible for me to play in another one is uh, could you stream some league of legends uh i play league of legends quite a bit to anyone that follows me on twitter will probably know i'm a bit of a avid fan and it is it's a lot of fun but i never ever stream it because i'm simply terrible at the game and uh you know in order to stream it you you know you want to be watching someone that's semi-decent so uh yeah i'm gonna have to pass on that one uh, let's see what's this oh the lag oh it's just filth what what the hell is this um uh sean asked if uh ksi killed toby would you and fear crads go on a hunt for um uh deji um i really that's that's a strange question and i don't i don't really know how to answer that because i didn't really get it too much uh let's get a well 51 new questions jesus no is that in? Oh my god, man. Just as I turned my head as well to go and answer it. So let's get a look down here. Um, whereabouts in England do you live? I live down in London. I live in uh, Canary Wharf. And um, who is more annoying in the swag pad? To anyone who doesn't know what I'm, well, what the people mean by the swag pad, that's what we decided to nickname our little flat that we live in. It's me, Toby, and Calix. We all live in the same one. You probably oh, guys already gathered that I live in the same one as Toby. But I also live in here with Calix. And the most annoying one 
is I don't really know. There's not really a most annoying one. They're all they're both annoying in their own ways. So uh, yeah, I don't really have a most annoying one. But one day we'll have to uh, continue the flat adventures videos. You guys seem to really enjoy that one, so I might have to do that one again pretty soon. Oh please! Ah oh, no way. Um, let's get a look. Um, let me just, I gotta focus real quick just till I get a bit of a uh, free time to go and take a look at a few more questions down the wing through to Zhao Moutinho. Oh, he, oh, oh, okay. Getting a bit, getting a bit saucy there, Zhao. What about play? Right. Let's just play this back inside. Boom. Okay. On the head. All right. Take it down. Finish it. Oh my god, that save. What a load of BS. Um, you stayed in a lot of places in your life, but which country was your favorite? Um, to anyone that didn't know, I lived in Vietnam, Russia, Egypt, and... Oh, please go in. Oh my god, this guy. Um, oh dear. Uh, yeah, I lived in Vietnam, um, Russia, Egypt, Scotland, and obviously now down in London. I apologize for that little um, beep. Yeah, so I lived in those places. My favorite one for me has got to be Egypt. I loved it out there. That place was just incredible. Um, yeah, definitely my favorite place I've lived so far. A lot of people kind of think, you know, the UK would be the best or whatever, but it's really not. I, yeah, there's uh, there's so many better places in this world. So if you, do ever, if you guys ever get the chance to go and travel, do it. You won't regret it. Trust me. Um, traveling is, is incredibly fun. So if you guys ever have any time to do that, be sure to do that. Um... Let's get a look. Are you going to make a second channel at some point in the future? So, I actually already have a second channel. I don't really use it. I always tell myself I really want to start uploading, you know, a bit of Minecraft, a bit of this, a bit of that. You know, just, just upload other stuff. But, one, I suck at Minecraft. Literally, I was saying to Road to Shaw earlier that... You might as I might as well just play that game with my tongue because I am literally terrible. I am I am disabled when it comes to that game. Uh, I'm so bad at it. So I, and I know it can be frustrating to watch people um, who don't have a clue um, how to play Minecraft um, actually play it. So for that reason, I don't know if I'm going to be doing any Minecraft. But I suppose the only way to learn is to really make videos and have you guys. Um, sort of give me feedback, teach me how to play the game. So let me know, would you guys like to see um, my second channel is CalFreezy, except instead of a Z or a Z, it is a 2. So you guys can type that in and enjoy that for yourself. Um, let's get a look. Um, if I came around to the swag pad, would you let me in for a game of FIFA? Of course, of course, of course. Um... Let's have a look. Oh, 35 new questions. Jesus, you guys are going in. What is your ultimate goal for YouTube? Uh, I don't really have an ultimate goal, of course, to hit a, a million subscribers would just be insane. Um, I don't know if that's going to be happening anytime soon, but I, I don't know. The, my ultimate goal is just to have fun and make sure, I, make sure I've enjoyed my time doing it because that's really why I started up and that's really why I would want to finish it. Um, if I ever did finish it, it was probably because I wasn't having as much fun or, yeah, it just, it, it, something like that, you know, so, um, yeah, P please, near post, oh my dear god, I've had, I've had way too many opportunities, but yeah, ultimate goal, just to, just to enjoy it, enjoy my time here, and, uh, hopefully it leads on to something else, again, my phone just going off, going off on one, go on, please, Pepe, yes, Pepe, you big boy, with the right peg as well. Um, do you have any siblings? Uh, yes, I have one sister. Um, a few people who me who've been watching me, you know, back in FIFA 12, um, uh, refer to her as Meg Freezy when she was on my live stream once. Um, how were you inspired to become a FIFA YouTuber? I don't know about FIFA. I know the way that I started making videos was because it was me. Um, to anyone who was back back in the day, you may have heard of Small Beans. Um, also a guy called Easy as well and Josh Flip. Um, you know, they were all, I, I started talking to those guys and uh, we started playing a lot of FIFA. Mainly we were just addicted to opening packs really. And uh, we saw there were pack openings and things like that. And we just really got into it. So uh, yeah, I suppose that's how we were... Um, that's how we were, how we got in, in, into all that shenanigans. Um, Greek Gooner, or is that, yeah, Greek Gooner asks, um, blondes or brunettes? For me, it's got to be brunettes. I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? Blondes or brunettes? Let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go with brunettes myself. Um, oh my God. He, he's shredding me. He's shredding me. No! Oh my God. Um, let's have a look. Three new 
why are you so pale so yeah obviously did a face cam video recently and i am white as a sheet of a4 sometimes though um it can come down to lighting but uh, yeah me and toby are literally super super white um he he has some fucking sweet ass lighting shit going on in his room but uh, yeah we're both really really white and i don't know i guess it's just the way it is um, yeah, I, I guess that's the reason I play way too much FIFA inside quite a bit and my job is obviously inside So I'm not out and about like you peeps going in school fucking having your lunch breaks or whatever So uh, yeah, but I don't know. I guess yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a four white so whoa, but yeah, um, that's that uh, Let's have a look would you ever do an 11 aside pro clubs game with 20 other FIFA youtubers? Uh, it could happen in the future, but there's no plans of it happening. So um, at the moment, no, but who knows? That's a pretty cool idea, so it might happen. Um, get it out. Oh, my God. Why are you on the floor, you numpty? Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's get a look. Come on. Don't, don't fucks with me here. Yes. Um... Where do you think the sexiest girls in the world come from? I'm not gonna lie, Swedish girls out there, but so are like Brazilian or Portuguese Latino chicks. So there, there, there there's plenty of places out there. Um, let me look down here. I mean, it's actually kind of interesting. You know, I was speaking to this guy. Uh, he goes by the name Nathan on uh, Twitter. He tweeted me the other day, and he was like, "Hey, Cal, I need to do work experience. Would it be okay if I did work experience with you?" And at first, I was like. You know, that's like, that's, you know, it's a bit of a, you know, not a joke, but, um, you know, what, why, why would he ever want to do work experience like that? But then I was like, hold on a second, that could actually be pretty cool. So as I can see there, I'm going to tell you this. So, um, yeah, the guy, the guy, I think he might end up doing work experience coming to work in the swag pad possibly, which could be the funniest thing ever. And I don't know, I reckon here, I'd love to have that as work experience. I'm not going to lie. If someone was like... Hey, do you want to come, you know, chill with, um, you know, a few YouTubers and just help them make their videos, essentially? That would be the most fun thing ever, I think. I don't know. Um, I wish I could do that when I was um, doing my work experience. I, what did I do for my work experience? Um, oh, yeah, I worked at a uh, game design company. Uh, it was it was called Proper Games, I think. A small, uh, I, want, I don't know if they're indie based, but uh, they were, yeah, they were a small um, company that just created these uh, iPhone apps and things. That was a pretty cool experience. It was a little bit boring. I don't know if I got that much out of it. I ended up just, you know, sending out a bunch of uh, emails and stuff, just your sort of usual work experience stuff. I didn't actually, although I have to admit though, like the lunch breaks and stuff were fun. You would just hop on the really old game consoles and just fuck around and play like ping pong and stuff. So that was always good. But uh, yeah, as far as actual work experience and I've clocked him on the outside, Aguero, do the business, mate. Oh my dear God, that saved it. If it's Petrocheck, then he is just being wrecking my face right now. Um... Let's get a look. Favorite player on Ultimate Team? Ooh, uh, probably Balotelli. Balotelli is just epic. I love him. Um, let's oh, go to get to it. What is that? Is that full time? That's gone so quickly. For, oh, no. What? Offside. Okay. Um, yeah, favorite player on Ultimate Team? Gotta be Balotelli. He's just a man. Um, he's also my favorite player in real life to anyone who hasn't already gathered that. Uh, the dude is just a man. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Out wide to the Ballow himself. Oh. There it is. Uh, where am I going? There we go. Shoot. Oh my god, it's in the inside of the post. Is that some sort of fucking sick joke? Oh my god. What the hell? That was so, so close. And it's gone out. But um, let me get another look. Has anyone... Um, how long do you spend filming? I'm assuming that's uh, how long it takes to make a video. It really depends what video it is. Obviously, a video like this won't take too long to make. Purely because uh, just me hopping on for a game of FIFA and answering some questions. Then just uh, sync it up and uh, edit it. And there, there's my phone going again. My apologies, guys. Um, oh, please. Please just give it, give it to my player. I've been giving this guy the sausage. Um, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Move it. Move your ass. Yeah. 
Um, so, yeah, th back to the little game development thing. Um, I, uh, when I was at school, I kind of wanted to do uh, game development at university, but uh, then I just started doing YouTube. YouTube is way too, way too awesome to, to do uni, and I got the grades that I needed to go to whatever uni, but um, not whatever uni, but um, the uni I wanted to go to, but it just really wasn't, it, wa it wasn't what I was thinking. It, like, it, it wasn't what I was wanting to do, um, I, and also one of the things that I want to let you guys know is if you guys do want to go to uni, it's it's not for everyone if you know what I mean like it's the first few months or whatever will be awesome You just go out and get drunk and just have an awesome time It's just a party 24 7 But once it hits the sort of Christmas times you do go into that exam mode You got to get cracking on exams and things like that and a lot of people especially the people I know and they're really actually smart people They actually thinking about dropping out not because they They didn't they don't cut it. They haven't done the work for it or whatever It's purely because they just don't enjoy it and they don't in they don't you know uni isn't what it's cracked up to what it's supposed to be so a lot of people think you know uni is the be-all end-all but to be honest with you especially if you're in England um, you know you have to pay a lot of money to go to university I want to say it's around like 9,000 a year I could be completely wrong with that but yeah that's what I'm uh, that's what I'm saying it's around anyways you're gonna be put into a lot of debt when you come out of it and the real question is are you gonna be able to pay that debt back um, you know using what you got at university and for me I just kind of thought about that and I was a little bit like you know, I don't, I don't really think so, and I'm really glad I didn't go to university. It's one of the one of the de life decisions that I'm actually really happy I made. It's a big one as well because uh, there's a lot of stigma behind not going to university and things like that, um, especially the school I went to and things like that. If you didn't go to university, it was a bit like, um, what are you doing with your life sort of thing. Please score that. Oh my fucking god, man. But uh, yeah, so that's that. Anyways, let's take a look. Um... What happened to the rest of the world team of the season? I'm not entirely sure, you know. Um, there could have been one, and I could have been sleeping when it was released. But, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I think everyone kind of expected it, but it just never came out. So, um, yeah, it was a bit of a surprise for everyone, I suppose. I have been, I have literally been sitting in this guy's half for ages now. Please, Balata his keeper is literally on roids. I'm not even joking. I'm start. I I, I want a drug test after this match. I want a fucking drug test. Go on. There it is. You, st you, you, know, you know you're a god when you've just done David Luiz. Please. Please. Oh my god. Holy shit check. What the fuck? What the? No way was that that. Anyways. Um... Who, who, yeah, this person asked who's your favorite IRL player, like I said earlier, that would be the man himself, the Balotelli, the maestro. Come on, I, n I need to get a goal. This guy doesn't, this guy doesn't deserve the win, straight up. I've been, considering I've been asking questions and things like that, why are you so sway? I don't know, it was just born in me. Oh, yellow card, what? Um, Nando's or KFC, for me, it's got to be Nando's. And I'm even starting, I, I kind of put myself off Nando's in a way, just because I have it so often. There's a Canando, uh, a Canando, <laughs> That's just like a combo between KFC and Nando's, a Canando's, um, but yeah, um, yeah, I kind of put myself off it just because I had it so much, but yeah, um, yeah, definitely Nando's for me, I'm not really a big KFC guy, I, I love, I love me some popcorn chicken and stuff, that shit's orgasmic, but besides that, I'm a little bit like, ah, oh, fuck this, why is this guy being a cock, stop playing like this, I, I, you can already tell he's starting to take ages when he's on the ball, starting to just be a bit of a bell end. Um, all right, come on. The last attack. The young attack. Here we go. Di Maria, the last one. The final piece to the puzzle. Out wide. No, take it. No, shoot. 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 No. Oh, it's still, we're still going. No. There it is. Ah, yes, I've got a score. Oh, my God. That 90th minute cheese. Holy shit. Oh, it's going to go into extra time. Oh, my God, man. That was ridiculous. I can't believe he could just concede it then. Wow. All right. Um, another question in from George Roberts. Uh, McRoberts, I should say. I am brew a red cola. I am brew all day, man. That dude is just a... That dude, that, that, that drink is just heavenly. Oh, my God. Please don't concede now, Cal. Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. There it is. There it is. Oh, yes. Right, that's 2-2. Two, two. Come on. I know I can win this. I've been all over this guy. Um, what's that? Look at that. Look at, look at the shots. 
Um, yeah, let me keep let me keep looking down. Oh god, I don't want to give this away. Who are your favorite players from FIFA 11, FIFA 12, and FIFA 13? So we've already gone over FIFA 13. FIFA 12, I want to say it was. Ooh, I'm not gonna lie, you guys know I'm a bit of a sweaty man, but uh, definitely, uh, I don't want to say definitely, but I, I've got this feeling that it was a bong lahore. I, it was more of like a guilty pleasure sort of thing. Um, yeah, definitely. I think got a bong lahore was just a f monster in that game. Um, FIFA 11, Giovanni. If anyone had played uh, FIFA 11 or was into into Ultimate Team back then, that's when I really started to pick it up. Uh, yeah, it was Giovanni. That guy was just a hero. A hero, a true hero. Balotelli, open! Do it! Oh, dear, Balo. Balo, please. Oh, but you, you, you're still doing the nasty. Keep going, son. Oh! No, don't get... Oh, my gosh. There it is. The one, two. Oh, my God, man. This guy's getting lucky. Uh, let's have a look. Have you ever been to Dubai? Yes, I, I actually have a friend who lives in Dubai at the moment. Um, he's ri uh, That place is, is cool. It's kind of like a bubble, though. Uh, I don't know if I'd like to live there. I mean, don't get me wrong. It is a cool place and stuff, but it's just a bubble in the Middle East. It's strange, you know, because you, you just kind of turn up, and it, it's kind of like going to... I don't even know how to explain that place, man. Dubai is just weird. Like, if you want to go on holiday, holiday, go for it. It's a really cool place. Um, I want to say the Emirates Shopping Center is uh, really awesome. I think that's the name of it. Is it Emirates? Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm getting confused with someone else. I think I actually I don't think it's called the Emirates, but oh well. Um, there, there's a really cool shopping center there with the um, indoor ski slope, and that shit is sweet. Um, if you guys are interested, if you if you don't want to go to a super cold place and you just kind of want to cheap skate your ass there, then uh, go skiing in an indoor place, please, please no, please no, no! Ah! Uh, let's have a look. Let's get a look. Mm, ass or tits? Ass for sure. Um. Are you a pace whore on Ultimate Team? Well, if you watch my videos, you know I am the number one pace whore of the community. I love me some of that pace. There's no shame in it as well. Messi or Ronaldo, both. If you ha if you got 100 million for whatever team you support, what players would you buy? And then he says realistically, like, what? What? How can you say that? Here's, here's 100 million. Now give me some realistic players that you want to buy. So, like, that doesn't really make too much sense, but... If I was given 100 million and I do support Liverpool, who would I bring in? So, huh. see, I'd say Ronaldo, but the only problem is that he would most likely eat up so much of that budget that I just don't think it'd be worth it. There are a lot of really good players out there. Um, again, Falcao, but he would cost so much. So, I don't really know. There's, there's tons of great players out there. Um, that you could just pick up and just create into an awesome team. There's too many players out there for me to... Um, for me to just pick out a few of them. But anyways, why is your sleeping pattern fucked up? Uh, simply because I go to sleep at 5 in the morning and I wake up at like 2 or 3 in the afternoon. I don't know why I go to bed at 5 in the morning. It's just one of those things, I guess. Um, I, w I wish I sorted it out just like how I wish I cleaned my room. It's one of those things that you always think about, but you never actually get around to doing unless someone fucking makes you do it. So, yeah. That's, it's just one of the... Oh, why would you go out there? You know, when I've got Lavezzi hungry... On the inside, on the outside there. Whatever, whatever. Oh no, Pepe, Pepe, please no. Pepe, why? Pepe, why'd you do it? Why Why would you do that to me? Pepe, Pepe, why? Oh my god, this game sometimes. Sometimes. Look at that, look at that crap, man. I have, uh, can't, I don't even know if I can bring this back anymore. This, can't, this could be over. This could be it, gents. This could be it. Why, why are you running away from the ball? Come on, come on. There it is. No. Oh my god, the post! Yes, right! Can we do it? Th seven minutes. Come on, bring it back. Take this shit to Penos. Come on. Sorry, I went really quiet there. I, uh, sometime no, no, you, you're not going to. 
You're not going to. You are. You are. You are. You little. You little scumbag. Th this is so scumbag. Why would you do this, dude? Seriously? That's such a scumbag move. Why is he doing this? What a dick. Look at this, man. This is just filth. Oh my god, dude. He's pissing me off. Like, why? Why would you? How can you enjoy doing this? What the fuck? Win with a bit of win with a bit of pride, my friend. Are you serious? Whatever, dude. Whatever. This guy, man. This guy. What a bitch. At least, like, at least win properly. Don't use it. Look at this shit, man. He's just gonna pass it there, hold it around, fuck around with it a bit. Oh my god, man. This guy. Oh well, guys. That'll do it. Unfortunately, I did lose. I lost to a bit of a scum a scumbag. His gamer tag is. I'll let you guys know in a second. If you would feel free to spam it with any sort of hate you feel necessary. Because this guy is just a cock muncher. Let's get a look here. Let's get a look. Messages. Fucking Gedalu79. What a bitch. Anyways, that's me. That's me lost it out. Unfortunately, um, I didn't manage to win. I don't know if he was the better player. But let's take a look at the match details just to end it off. 14 shots on target. Unfortunately, he's, he had good shot accuracy. I, well, he, 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 uh, the ones on target, he did well. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do it. His keeper was on steroids. I demand a drug test ASAP. Oh, you got, hope all of you guys have a cracking day. And yeah, I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Bye-bye.